Hello friends, welcome to my channel RF Design Basics. So in this video, I will be discussing about the block diagram of a control system. In this regard, also I will discuss about the block diagram reduction technique and certain rules. So let us try to understand what is a block diagram. So block diagram is basically a representation of different transfer function blocks, their summing point and takeoff point. So basically you can understand here, the summing point is represented as a cross circled over and then plus and minus represents whether it is getting added or getting subtracted. Summing point is represented as dot from where some block will start. So the signal will start from this way. G1S and G2S, these are uh, transfer function of the individual elements, these two elements. And H of S here is called feedback transfer function. Why it is called feedback transfer function? Because it is from the output to input side. That's why it is called feedback transfer function. So the method of reducing this overall block diagram to a single block diagram like this is called block diagram reduction technique. Here the value of the reduced block diagram transfer function will be g of s equal to g1 s g2 s by 1 plus g1 s g2 s h of s. We will try to know how we are getting this in uh, some examples after understanding the block diagram reduction technique. So let us start the few rules of the block diagram reduction techniques. The first thing we want to know is if we have any block given like this then g of s will be equal to the output by input. So output is c of s, input is r of s. So it is c of s by r of s. Then, as we know that this is the takeoff point. So, takeoff point means output may be different, but the input will not be changed. For example, here if I call this as R of S as input, so this R of S is input is same for both G1 of S and G2 of S. Even if we add further some other takeoff point, R of S will remain same and c1s can be written as here c1s it can be written as r of s multiplied by g1 of s similarly c2 of s can be also written as r of s into g2 of s so the r of s is common for both the block which is common input for both the blocks so that is called takeoff point then the summing point summing point represents the summation of all the signals from all the sides. For example, here the C of S is equal to R of S. So R of S is input from here, which is plus. That's why it is plus. X of S is from the top. Y of S is from bottom with a negative sign. These two positive, this negative. So the total controlled output at this point is C of S equal to addition of all these three. So R of S, X of S both are positive, Y of S is negative, so it's written like this. So in case you have two or more consecutive summing point, for example, I have another summing point over here with different inputs, then since they are consecutive next to each other, we can interchange them, they can be interchanged. So this is one of the rules you can remember whenever you get Two summing point consecutive summing point then you can interchange them the next one is when there are blocks in cascade blocks in cascade in the sense kind of series so when they are in cascade we are going to write the overall transfer function as the multiplication of individual blocks so if there is no other summing point or takeoff point connected in between then they are called in cascade. So the transfer function will be G1 of S 
multiplied by g2 of s multiplied by g3 of s that is what we can see here the fifth rule is called parallel rules when blocks are in parallel how we call blocks are in parallel when they start from same takeoff point let's say that is a and in that same summing point b then these are called blocks in parallel so in this case a to b g1 of s is there a to b g2 of s is also there and a to b g3 of s also there so in this case we are going to add them together so parallel means addition cascade means multiplication The sixth one is shifting of a takeoff point. Now, shift, shifting of takeoff point means if there is a block, or you can say across the block. Later on, we will see across the summing point also. Across the block means here I have a summing point A, and this side I have some point B where I want to shift this summing point. Means my summing point is at here i want to i want to shift them in this way what is going to happen is we have to divide by 1 by gs and add a block how we can prove them here you can see this is c of s what is the output of c of s it is r of s into g of s because r of s g of s multiplied that is the output and this is directly connected to R of S. Now, I want to draw an equivalent of this in the right hand side. Let's see. We have just shifted the point A to point B. This takeoff point is shifted towards right hand side of the block. So, if you shift here, what is the value here? At this point, the value will be R of S into G of S. So, that is the value R of S into G of S. So, to, to have same output as r of s we need to divide by 1 by g of s that's why whenever we have some block over here divide that block by g of s to shift the takeoff point from a to b so shifting left to right means divide by the block so we have to add a block and divide by this value g of s for example if I, I have some other value here, let's say G1S, then this block will become G1S divided by G of S. So whatever we have originally, that need to be divided by G of S. Now see the second case in this. When I am shifting from B to A, in that case, it will be just opposite. There we were dividing, here we have to multiply. Multiply in the sense you can see here. We have only one. This value means if there is just a wire, it means that this is one transfer function. So if there is one, we are going to multiply since we are shifting this point from right to left. So multiply by this value. So we have multiplied by this value and added one block over here. Now let us see what happens if we do the same thing to a summing point. If we have a summing point there will be two cases the summing point is getting shifted from before the block to the after the block so right now this is before the block we are shifting after the block so you can see what happens the main line there is no change just this will be shifted here and this will be connected directly to g of s but in the right hand side this input was x of s now this input will go through one g of s that means whatever is the value that block need to be added over here that's why we have to add the block with this same value here or if already some blocks are there in this we have to multiply by this in that block and if we want to do opposite means if we want to shift from b to a then this entire summing point will be shifted towards left so we have shifted it towards left and then this block is divided by g of s so initially the value of this block is 1 
So here value of this block is 1. So we have divided by g of s. So whatever block we have, we are going to divide them by g of s. So these are the few rules we need to remember. We are going for some more rules. If you want to understand the what is happening inside, we can just see this. R of s is what here? R of s is input and c of s will be r of s then x of s plus these two will be added then multiplied with g of s that is the input now when we do this changes then we see here the input is r of s into g of s input and this input becomes x of s into g of s x as g of s if i take g of s common we can get the same thing same way we can see the right side this output is r of s multiplied by g of s so here we get r of s into g of s then that will be added or subtracted with x of s plus minus so r of s g of s plus minus x of s now when i shift this towards left i have added a block this block has been added so what is the input here it is access by g of s so this is the input here input is r of s both are getting added and multiplied by g of s multiplied by g of s and finally we get the same thing what we have here now we are going for eighth rule which is shifting of takeoff point across summing point we have seen shifting of takeoff point across a block now if i have summing point and takeoff point next to each other then how to shift them so if you want to shift this in the right hand side for your benefit because sometimes it will be easier to solve once you shift it in that case the main line will remain intact no change in the main line only thing change here is we are going to add a block over here so this is the thing we are going to do just we have to add a block only thing you have to remember is this was plus minus then here it will be minus plus if you are shifting from left to right any takeoff point then if the plus minus was there earlier that will remain as it is but you have to add another plus minus in opposite direction that is minus plus so this is our x of s and here minus plus let's see the output here we have r of s x of s so r of s plus minus x of s that is the output r of s plus minus x of s and here also we had c s equal to r of s plus minus x of s and takeoff point was directly connected to r of s so output was r of s now that value should be r of s how it will be here r of s plus minus x of s is there if i subtract this then it will give the output r of s so that's why minus plus x of s is getting subtracted so this x of s minus plus is getting added over here so output is r of s just like this so one output is here another one is here same output will come over here and this output will come over here same way try to understand this one here we can see it will happen opposite means this is our summing point takeoff point is here it is going to move from right to left so in this case what is the output cs is r of s plus minus x of s my takeoff point has output same r of s plus minus x of s after doing these changes the takeoff point uh, having same value should be having same value that's why when we shift it we have to add one block so the r of s here and this block also is same as this so basically when we shift from right to left the same thing getting added over here so that we have the same output so i hope you have understood all the rules i'll be making another video to explain how to apply these rules and how to reduce a block diagram for any given example thank you